I am here today to address the allegations that I don't find Darcy Carden attractive. Look, I know I'm not in control of what people say about me or how they perceive my words, but I'm not going to have people slander my good homosexual name in this way. Like, I'm just not. For the record, Darcy Carden makes me weak in the knees. That, like, that, that should be known. That woman can do whatever she wants to me, wherever she wants. I just want that on record. I just would like to set the record straight. Thank you. Okay, so a while back I made a review about the Amazon Prime series A League of Their Own and I know that it wasn't exactly a favourable review, like that much is true. But I always try to be honest in my reviews and I stand by a lot of what I said. But there is one thing that people have really like misinterpreted from that review and one of those things is I didn't take to Greta and Carson because I didn't find them attractive. A few people were going around the village spreading that lie and it's just not true. I can still acknowledge if two actors have chemistry without being like personally attracted to them. That doesn't really like play into it at all. I'm sure with some people it does but with me it honestly doesn't you know. So yeah I said what I said in my review that is how I felt at the time but Something happened to me the other night where I ended up watching a punch of Greta and Carson kissing videos. <laughs> I just fell down like a lesbian rabbit hole and I ended up watching a bunch of Carson and Greta videos on repeat for personal lesbian reasons, okay. Other lesbians know what I'm talking about when you find yourself down in one of those, one of those spirals. You just, you never grow out of it, basically, ever. And I, I think that I can now admit that I may have been wrong in my initial assessment of them. Yes, I was wrong. Just lick it up, okay? Lick it all up. Just, there's a sound bite for you, okay. This is not me caving under peer pressure or worrying about like people thinking less of me because ha <laughs> ha you 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 can see what happens on this channel, you know that's not the case. Oh my gosh, she's so tall. She's so tall. Oh my god. I wish I was Carson. I wish I was Carson so bad. And Abby got paid for this. Abby got paid to kiss. Darcy Carden. So tall, so strong, so good at kissing. Darcy Carden, if you ever watch this, it's I I will meet you anywhere, anytime. I know you're too good for me, but I I have to I have to try and express myself anyway. I like it when Greta is like a little bit aggressive and pushy. That's oh that like dominant, I guess. Oh no. I want Darcy Carden. Lesbians, women, understand. Women understand me. Oh dear God. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm a born again homosexual. Okay, wow. I just love it when Greta takes control. That just, that's amore. Ah, oh, but they're quite romantic as well. They're quite romantic as well as like sexually incredible. <laughs> What? I still don't think their chemistry is like electric. It seems like a more comfortable chemistry and I think this is just because like Abby and Darcy are such good friends. It just feels more comfortable to me than like, ooh, chemistry, you know, that, that's just, that's just the tea. But they've grown on me as a couple. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the height difference. I don't know if it's just like, I've just got this like raging attraction to Darcy Carden and that's kind of overtaken all my senses. I mean, I said there was no correlation between personal attraction and shipping and I that is I said what I said but also I just like watching Greta kiss a smaller woman and I wish I was that smaller woman is it so wrong that's all I came here to say that I would let Darcy Carden ruin me and I don't want anyone else thinking otherwise that's not acceptable you know it's the, the you got me all wrong you got me all wrong you know okay bye